Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Come on, you know, Jimmy. Out. Yeah, Brett. Yeah, so, man. Who this, yeah, man. This, we are asked where this all about. See, this is all about the whole um, um, unfair, yeah. unfair ticket and and suspension of our driver's license and thing, you see me? So this are my colleagues from um, Burnt yeah. Savannah. Yeah man, yeah, yeah, man. Jail side of Burnt Savannah, Green Jail side taxi driver, this and the man them ready, fully uh, out. Yeah man, we out man, Monday Active morning. Man. So Monday it morning, is an island wide yeah, strike, it's, so not just, just right. it's not just it's not just West alone, Moland. Brother. It's an and island wide. Yeah, we have to do the thing, brother. Yeah, it's an island wide. Man, one police cannot like anybody brother, and give six tickets in one day, brother. Right. Next year, one man give four again, you know. But even, done, done, you know? even police, them um, agree with, with, yeah. with, with the, the demonstration. Yeah, so, man, unless you know, Black Road just with us, with Java no service. No Black sir, Black Road, it's yeah, just with Java service. service. So if a man not, no, 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 agree with this, just stay home. Yeah, man. Same so thing said. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Bless up. One love. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. So, as you just heard, taxi drivers island-wide are planning on pulling their services tomorrow. They are protesting against the ticketing system. Let's hope that they don't block the roadway so that persons can still go about their lawful business. In the news today, at the end of the reports, I'm going to be chatting with Wani's sister, Remember that story I dropped on Friday? That is the thumbnail on your screen. Ocean Price, also known as Eclipse. He was shot and killed by Odean Irving, also known as Wani, and Everton Silent, also known as Piranha or Chunky. Wani, he was shot and killed before the trial, and Chunky, he was tried and convicted for murder. He was sentenced to life imprisonment on friday i played a chat i had with eclipse baby mother she was the main witness in the case if you missed that video i implore you to go back and watch it eclipse baby mother she had said that one is sister was calling up her name stating that she had collected forty thousand dollars to free both Chunky and Wani. Wani's sister is defending that plus other things that the female said about her. Stand by for that conversation. In the news today, we are learning that Friday afternoon, June 7, about minutes to 5 o'clock, the management, they closed up and securely locked up the Alternative Energy Plus store. They sell solar equipment and they are located on the Miraculum Plaza and Grange Lane in the Gregory Park area of Portmore. When they returned to reopen the store yesterday morning, Saturday, June 8th, about minutes to 10 o'clock, it was observed that the store was broken into. Hoodlums broke the glass and forced the grill open. They entered and stole several inverters and batteries for solar panels, costing over 2 million Jamaican dollars. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. Just like that. In this next report, a security guard who will soon be celebrating his 54th birthday, he has been arrested and charged by the police. His name is Douglas Watson and he's living in the parish of St. James. The allegations are that yesterday morning, Saturday, June 8th, almost 7.30, Douglas, he was on duty at the Flamingo gas station in Falmouth in the parish of Trelawney when a dispute developed between him and a phone technician in his mid-30s. It is alleged that the security guard he used this gun to hit the other man to his abdomen, causing pain and swelling. As a result, 
A report was made to the police who commenced investigations. The security guard, he was arrested and charged for 1. Possession of firearm with intent to injure. 2. Breaching the terms and conditions of firearms authorization. And 3. Assault occasioning actual bodily harm. So, he'll be going to the courts shortly. <laughs> Why may I tell you? Now, in this next report, you remember that yesterday, I carried a story. I told you that on Friday afternoon, June 7, a 65-year-old man, he was driving along the Dunbeholden Main Road in Portmore when he stopped to take a leak. While he was at the back of his vehicle, taking the leak, he was held up by two hoodlums on a bike. They proceeded to rob him of his licensed Glock 19 9mm pistol containing 16 live rounds. They also robbed him of cash and some important documents. Well, Saturday, June 8th, about minutes to 12 midday, the Portmore police, acting on intelligence, they went in the vicinity of the pump house along a dirt track at Dunbeholden where they carried out a search and bingo. The said loaded Glock 19 9mm pistol that was robbed from the man. It was recovered. Intelligencers, big up on yourself. And Portmore Police, job well done. In this next report, a taxi driver popularly known as Prim, he is now wanted by the St. James Police for gun-related charges. It is alleged that yesterday morning, Saturday, June 8th, about 7 o'clock, a man in his mid-60s, he's popularly known as Shortman, and he operates a car wash at Tucker in the parish of St. James. It is said that persons to include Prim was at the car wash when Shortman, he could not find an equipment. An argument developed between Shortman and Prim. We are told that Prim, he left the car wash, went to him, got dig up him strap and come back. When he returned, he pulled it and opened gunfire at Shortman. Prim, he then jumped in the white red plate Toyota Voxy that he used to operate as a taxi and drove away, making good his escape. Shortman, he was not hit, but a black 2013 Toyota Voxy, which operates as a taxi. It was parked at the car wash. It received gunshot damage to the driver's door column and the front windshield. So, hoodlum taxi driver Prim. He's now wanted by the police. This one, it took place yesterday morning. Saturday, June 8th, a few minutes after 8 o'clock. It took place at Cornwall District in the Hartford area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that a 20-year-old guy, he was standing in his yard when a white Subaru motor car drove up and stopped at the entrance to his yard. Two hoodlums who are well-known jumped out of the car with guns in hands and opened gunfire at the guy. He managed to run off to the back of his house. The hoodlums chased him and continued firing shots at him. The hoodlums, they then jumped into the car, making good their escape. When the smoke was clear, it was discovered that the guy, he was shot. He received gunshot wounds to the left side of his buttocks. He was assisted to hospital where he was treated and admitted. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. Now, what we are learning is that the guy who was shot, he is the younger brother of that guy on your screen. His name is Ronaldo Moore, but he was popularly known as Chin. Chin was 23 years old on Thursday, August 10, last year when he was shot and killed in the same Cornwall district area of Hartford. At the time that Chin was shot and killed, he was out on bail for gun-related charges. 
that guy on your screen. He has since been charged for Chin's murder. His name is Nico Finley, but he's also known as Matic. We are now getting reports that one of the hoodlums who was involved in the shooting of Chin's brother yesterday morning is a close associate of Matic. Stand by. We are digging. More to come. The mayhem. This next incident, it took place last night. Saturday, June 8th, about 11.30. It took place at Ground Road in the Towned area of Westmoreland. We are learning that a 43-year-old male named Barba Joe, he drove home in his Toyota Carola station wagon motor car in the company of a female. He let off the female at the front of his yard to enter his house and he drove the car to the back of his house to park. Whilst he was at the back of the house, he was approached by two hoodlums who were armed with guns. The hoodlums, they opened gunfire at him. Barbara Joe, he managed to run off, eluding the hoodlums. The two hoodlums, they then made good their escape. It was then realized that Barbara Joe, he was shot. He received gunshot wounds to both his arms. He was rushed to hospital where he was treated and admitted. We are also learning that the motor car received gunshot damage to the left front fender and a section of the left side of the trunk. When the police processed this crime scene, six 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. This next incident, it took place early this morning, June 9, about 12.30. It took place at Carlton District in the Springmount Police Area in the parish of St. James. We are learning that a 26-year-old guy named Davian, he was at a bar in the area when he was approached by a guy named Alex. We are told that Alex, he asked Davian to put something upon him bill, meaning buy him a drink. We are told that Davian, he said no and Alex... He decided that him now take no for an answer. It is said that an argument developed and during the argument, Alex, he pulled a gun and opened gunfire at Davian. Davian, he managed to run out of the bar eluding Alex. Alex, he then made good his escape on foot in the area. It was then realized that Davian, he was shot. He received a gunshot wound to his left thigh. Davian, he managed to ride his bike to hospital where he was treated and admitted. The mayhem. In this next report, I am just getting the details on this one. It took place Friday night, May 31, about 7 o'clock. It took place in front of the health center along the Bunkersville Main Road in the parish of Trelawney. We are learning that a man named Odell Miller. He was a 32-year-old rafter living at Unity in the parish of Trelawney. Our information is that Odell, he was riding a blue Honda CBR motorcycle along the Bunkers Hill main road. He was heading towards Wakefield when he failed to keep to his left and went right across the roadway. As a result, he collided into that 1998 Toyota Corolla motor car. The motorcycle, it then went right off the road and Odell, he was thrown from it. There is what is left of the motorcycle that Odell was riding. Odell, he received serious head and bodily injuries and he ended up dying on the spot. Sad indeed. Next up, we are learning that a male was shot and killed at White House in the Carroll Gardens area of St. James between last night and this morning. He was found on his back with a gunshot wound to his forehead. He was dressed in a grey shirt, a grey pants and an army green Crocs. We are doing some digging and we are going to be updating this story in a subsequent video. Stand by for that. 
the mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all. So that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. Before we talk to Wani's sister, on Tuesday, I carried a report. I told you that on Monday morning, June 3, about 8.30, a passerby was traveling along the P.J. Patterson Highway when a suspicious-looking black garbage bag and a blue sheet were seen about 20 feet near to the roadway. When the passerby made checks, a pair of human feet was seen. As a result, the police were called. When the police went and made checks, the garbage bag was found to contain a male with his head completely taken off. Apparently, someone killed him elsewhere and dumped him off the highway. That male has now been positively identified. His name is Joshua Eric McPherson, but he was also known as Shakabar, Toughman, or Brown man. Last month on May 14, Shakabar, he celebrated his 21st birthday. He lived at Old Arbor Road in the Spanish Town Police Area in the parish of St. Catherine. So, Shakabar, he was killed elsewhere and dumped off the highway. The mayhem continues. And now, here is my chat with one is sister. Listen this. Hey, morning, what's going on? Good morning. Mm hmm. Yeah, say no. Yes, I'm one is sister. Oh, one is sister, okay. And mm -hmm. yes, I'm hearing the news going over by and Popeye mm -hmm. that everyone was calling me and asking me about it when I go on it and I look at it I hear that this girl have my name and Popeye mm -hmm. news say so one sister from Gully Banks a broadcast her boy she get money mm -hmm. and I'm just calling you to tell you tell you that to tell her that to stop broadcast me because I went down by the station to to, to lodge a report about her to stop scandal my name in our business where she have me and Parada don't, you know, me and Parada, me and, me and the other Rasta youth is no family. Why I would look money for him family and figure I go buy food stuff in Parada? When my brother was there, I never did a visit my brother. So why me I go visit the next man? I mean, never did a visit my brother. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You understand why yeah. me go spread a room? I mean, I know nothing about this and my brother. For them business, that not my business. I have my child them living for. We have my four daughter live for. She don't know nothing about me. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. have my four daughter living for Papa. And me live with my man. Me no live off a scammer. <laughs> my man is, my man no work. My man no scam. Yeah, yeah. Me have my man living, and me no want nobody set up my life. She already have fear life a deal with me. Me don't no want nobody set up my life and put my life in a non jeopardy. If you please nobody, me have four girl picking them a live for. Mm -hmm. So she must know what kind of problem she in a don't involve me in it. And I want to get my name clear out of this. So you, you, you know her, you know her personally. I know her personally and she probably do not remember me because we born and go in the same community but she live in Harmony Town. We come back a little bit of woman back to Bush side there. So that in the 30 seat Christian we come from. Yes. She come from out of Harmony Town. Okay. Me know her father good good. Mm-hmm. I said a girl me know good good. I said a girl a girl for me. Mm-hmm. So I understand she probably do not remember me, but I remember her. Me and I never have a conversation. We never change a word yet from growing up. So you see, anybody used to visit one, much less for, for, for look things, for go get piranha. Oh, me must go, all right, me never did a visit. One have him and then we are visiting. Yeah. Oh, me, if you go visit one and no visit my brother and then me, I go visit Parado. Mm. Parado, I know my brother. 
Paul is not my friend. My brother friend them is not my friend. Yeah, yeah. And I me have my four daughters living far, me live in Westmore, me live a saga. I mean, no one, no, nobody now set up my life. Me, I'm picking them, I live far. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm scamming, I'm a hard working man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, make it. Man, get up out of bed every morning. Find two something and out stand up out and make you do and figure figure out reward. Go go make you money. Me not me not deal with scammer. Me not live off a scammer. Mhm. Me not run certain jokes. So when he come into my life, I will be trying him. Me not run certain. She go say, if me when you have beat me, you say that girl don't know me hundred percent good. If me when you have beat me, you don't know the feelings I hit. Mm-hmm. Yes, you have four daughters. We have my four child. We have four daughters. Them. Mm-hmm. Okay. We don't want certain jokes. Certain gimmicks. Jokes. We don't run. We have to pick them against school. Mm. All right, man. You must tell me in a tone and people ask me, "Bro, if if one of my brother, I tell them, say I don't know who is that man." Mm. So why me? I'm gonna take my life now. If you gonna give away for people, me love my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything was she in a steel in a it and don't drag the in between her. Ah, oh boy. All right. I went down by the station and I'm supposed to go back down there, you know. Hmm. Yeah, police demand. Yeah. Why police demand? When we go there, so we must come back, but we never get to go back yesterday. Because see, can you please the black up on me that look could wash him? We never get to go back yesterday. I don't know why police them can do, cause um, based on the reports, I don't know what I don't know, I don't know what them all do. They can only advise you. No, she said she gonna report me. So before she report me, I want to report it down there too. Okay, me understand. Mm. Yeah, because she talk on the news saying you know, and your news says she's gonna report me. Mm-hmm. So before you report me, I want to get myself clear. Because you told me no my hands clean and my everything clean about me. I do not want this to mix me in our gimmicks. Some way if you tell her, so me say if you leave me name out her gimmicks. And we serve and I'll sit down and I speak, tell them say, take two of them, take them, take their name, then mouth out half of me. And leave me alone, let me live my life. Me I live my life to please me, I'm a pit me, I'm a man. I'm a mother, I'm a family. Me, me look me look last, look wash belly, brother. Me no response to no other body. Mm-hmm. Everybody live their life how they want to. Me and listen me how me want to. I make nobody make sick and nobody my life good, good on the dream. Yeah, so tell that girl to leave me out and leave me out of problem. Alright, alright, ma'am. Alright, me, me hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure she hear this, alright? Yes. Alright, cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend. About Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Criminals, they want my show, Jamaica. Jamaicans, 